Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom Israel, most high Christ bless. Welcome to another episode of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Aon. Officer Azar. All praises. And today's topic we're gonna to touch on building a good name. All right, in Israel, all right. Building a good name. So building a good name, all right. Your name, just understand this, your name is valuable. Meaning it holds weight. Meaning when somebody think of you, when they say Naom, when they say Azar, you know, when they say Bunko Nile, whoever else they say, right? That name holds weight, right? Behind what? The substance behind your name. Meaning the works that you put in. Meaning what you stand for. All right? Ethics, morals. Uh, if you're loyal, if you're humble, all right? Can you take correction? All these things come behind having a good name, all right? So, let's start off with going to uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. Having a good name shows forth your values, and when people think of you, they think of you based off of that, all right? Your works, all right? Let's read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7, verse 1. Uh -huh. A good name is better than precious ointment. A good name is better than precious ointments. All right, all that, them, them ointments and things of that nature that women put on, all right, it's better than that. All the ointments and oils that we had in the scriptures, it's worth more than that, all right? Go ahead. And the day of death than the day of one's birth. Right, because understanding your name is going to be carried or memorialized, or uh, made known of when you, what, you leave this earth. Over all the years that you've been on this earth to build your name, you understand? It's a process in building your name. It's a process in building a good name, all right? So from there, let's go to Proverbs 22 and verse one. Proverbs 22 and verse one. Building a good name doesn't come overnight, all right? Meaning, this is something that you're going to be working on until, until death, all right? Let's read that. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 1. Uh -huh. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, mm -hmm. and love and favor rather than silver and gold. You see that? It's a, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Because when you dead and gone, people are not going to remember you for your riches. They're going to remember you for what? Your works. Your works sake. The things that you've done on the earth. All right? Was he a kind person? Was he a giving person? Did he look out for his brother? You know what I'm saying? How did you treat people outside this truth as well? All right? Your name has to surpass just being in this truth. All right? You have to have a good name in the world as well. Dealing with the, the people in the world, all right, all these other nations, all right, and we go we go touch on all this, all right. So it says, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. 
So that gold and silver can't be weighed to that good name, to that name you're establishing. And that name you're establishing takes what? You being proven. All right? Read that right quick. It's a rock six and seven. In being proven, you prove yourself through what? Your actions. Through you showing what type of man or woman you are. All right? And then people will know you by this. All right? They know when they call on this name or that name that this person is a diligent brother. That this sister is a diligent sister. All right? Go it's ahead. the book of Sirach, chapter 6, verse 7. Uh -huh. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, mm -hmm. and be not hasty to credit him. It say when you get a friend, prove him first. How are you proving? Because the Most High has proven all of us. All right? To have a good name means you have to have works behind your name. It says that not to be hasty to credit. All right? Meaning nobody's not going to give you credit of doing nothing. All right? You're not going to walk in the door and be put in positions and, and make decisions and, you know, have some type of say of anything. You have to what? Have a name. You have to have works and proof behind your name. We have to get to know you, all right? And know your character, all right? And then knowing your character, and in process of time, to understand if you, brother or sister, in building a good name, can you go through the trials that you're going to go through and overcome them, all right? Go to uh, Sirach 2 and 1. Understanding the process of time of building that good name. This is not going to happen overnight. All right, because the process of is you what? Coming in this truth and being able to start to put your brick in. All right, when that time presents itself. But first off, you have to start by building a good name and what? Learning. Being humble. All right, read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh -huh. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Prepare thy soul for temptation. So just understand, when you come to serve the Lord and to start building your name in Israel, temptation is still right there. Temptation is going to come even the more in this truth. All right? It's not like it's going to be cast away. It's going to come at your front door, right in front of your face. All right? When you least expect it, it's going to come back and knock on your door and say, hey, how you doing? Okay, keep going. Verse 2, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. These are your key points in showing you and showing us, Israel, the backing of your spirit, the backing of your name to say, when my trials start to hit me, my personal trial hit me, my uh, marriage trial hit me, my congregational trial hit me, I'm going to overcome these. I'm not going to let these trials take me out of this truth. That's how you be for, uh, that's how you bring forth a good name, okay? Through these trials. We all have to go through them. Okay? Keep reading. Verse 3. Uh -huh. Cleave unto him and depart not away, mm -hmm. that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully mm -hmm. and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. These are more trials that's going to come to you to where you may lose a job, you know. A lot of things may happen in your life, okay, in your process of building your name, all right. Like our forefathers, they fought many battles, all right, and they had to endure the hardships of these things. All right. Understanding they 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 their patience and understanding their what it said their patience and cheerfulness, uh, and them being as well changed to a lower state because remember we went from captivity to captivity. You understand? And us being able to continue to have what the name of Israel is something that you must think about. Okay. So, keep reading. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. 
It said gold. It's going back to that gold. It's going back to the good name, the silver and gold. It's talking about your name. All right? These are the things that's tried in the fire. This is how you show forth I have to have a good name, to start to build your reputation of your works, of being to overcome trials and tribulations in this truth, to be able to come, overcome yourself. Okay? So from there, let's go to 2 uh, Corinthians 8 and 21. So understanding building. a good name goes with what? Correction. Overcoming the things that that battle that you battle, all right? And understanding through patience and not giving up, all right? And not being easily offended. All these different things is going to show forth for you. And if you are able to endure to have that good name, all right? And understanding what comes from these things. Order. You have to have order, all right? And you building a name, you're going to fall in line with what? That order. All right, read that. It's the book of 2 Corinthians, uh -huh. chapter 8, verse 21. Providing for honest things, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. So it said providing for the honest things. And this is going into uh, Titus and his brethren. And them being set in order, right, to lead Israel. Read it again. Providing for honest things, mm -hmm. not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. Right, it said not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. Meaning having a good report to them that are without. Understanding that that must be, that your, your good name transcends just Israel. All right? It flows throughout the whole earth. Wherever you uh, put forth your feet or your hands or your mouth, eyes to see and to interact with people that must transcend to them your good name all right uh keep reading verse 22 mm -hmm. and we have sent with them our brother mm -hmm. whom we have oft time oftentimes proved diligent in many things but now much more diligent upon the great confidence which i have in you right this is how you build a good name by what? Your report, your actions. All right? It says, uh, we have sent with them our brethren, whom have oftentimes proved diligent in many things. Diligent in many things, what? Brothers coming to the school to help clean. All right? Sisters in the kitchen helping prepare food for the prophets. All right? All these things show forth what? Who you are. And bring forth what? Your name to be known throughout Israel. All right? Because you have to remember as well, you're not doing these things for yourself in a selfish spirit. You're doing these things because, Lord willing, you love the body. You love your brother as you love yourself. Okay? So from there, these are steps in which you starting to what? Put your brick in. Show forth who you are. All right? Because all this shows... In essence, your mindset. What do you stand for, uh, for? Are you steadfast in your understanding? Okay, are you faithful? Get that. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 1. Are you faithful? Because faithful go, faithfulness and faithful go to what? Being loyal. Are you loyal to what you believe in? All right? A lot of brothers and sisters come in and that foundation don't, is not laid yet. You understand? This is how they're going to be tried. This is how you're going to see if they fit for the battle. If their name will transcend throughout this earth. All right? In Israel, of course, but throughout the earth. Will their name transcend that? All right? Uh, read that. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Let a man so account of us as of ministers of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. They say it is required in stewards that a man be found what? Be found faithful. Faithful. We have to be faithful stewards of God's word. Devoted. Dedicated. Loyal 
to the truth. These the all the attributes of having a good name and, and that proving that friend when you walk through those doors is understanding if you're Lord. All these attributes shows if you believe in this. Shows if you want to walk this walk for the rest of your life. All right. Now we're going to go through some examples. Examples of our forefathers because it's a lot of precepts to touch on on what spirit you have to must have coming in this truth. All right. You must be humble like Matthew 18 says. All right. You must be able to be taught all over again like Hebrews 5 says. It's a lot of precepts that show you the mindset that you have to have, all right? And coming in this truth, and to come in, well, coming out the world to coming in this truth, all right? It's a different, different walk of life, the commandments. That's our first priority, all right? Mm -hmm. Sirach 46 and 1. Sirach chapter 46, verse 1. We're going to now get some examples of how our forefathers, because remember, when when... Building a name for yourself, all right, it goes through what? Your actions, the things that you've accomplished. That's why I said it's better, it's, uh, better at your death, I'm butchering it, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 1, all right, than your birth. Because in your birth, you ain't did nothing. You haven't did anything to bring forth a name throughout the earth, all right? All this is built through what? Your life upon the earth, all right? Through the, your work, the things that you've accomplished in earth, on earth, rather. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Six it's the one. book of Sirach, chapter 46, verse 1. Uh -huh. Jesus, the son of Nan, was valiant in the wars and was a successor of Moses in prophecies. So Jesus is Joshua. The son of Nav is the son of uh, Nun. Yeah, let's say it said Nun. Uh, it says, was valiant in wars. So this is showing you his track record, all right? The things he's accomplished, all right? Go ahead. Who according to his name was made great for the savings of the elect of God. It said, according, who according to his name, this is what he known of, or known by his wars. And then the, the successor, the torch being passed to him of Moses, right? It says, who according to his name was made great for the saving of the elect of God, go ahead, and taking vengeance of the enemies that rose up against them, mm -hmm. that he might set Israel in their inheritance. You see that? He went forth with Caleb and fought to do what? Set Israel in what was promised to them, their land, our inheritance, which was uh, the covenant from Moses, I mean from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Through his seed, we will get that land, right? So jump to verse 9. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave strength also unto Caleb. So we read about Joshua. Let's read about Caleb. Go ahead. Which remained with him unto his old age, mm -hmm. so that he entered upon the high places of the land, mm -hmm. and his seed obtained it for an inheritance. Should his seed, Israel, obtained it for what? Inheritance, that land. Go ahead. That all the children of Israel might see that it is good to follow the Lord. It is good to follow the Lord. You see that? That's how you get that good name. When you follow the Lord, the law, statutes, and commandments, He's going to fight for you. We're going to win wars. All right? And He's, he's going to come back again. He's going to put us back in our land as well. But go ahead. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. And concerning the judges, Every one by name, mm -hmm. whose heart went not a horn. So, now you're getting the other side of this. It says, and whose judges, every one by name. So, you can have a good name. You can build a good name, or you can build a, a, a evil, a despise, a, a name that's, that's uh, irking, okay, irksome, all right? That when, when somebody called it, like Judas Iscariot, you like what? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Because what? He betrayed Christ. He was an enemy to his own people. He hated his own people for what money? So you can have a track record of evil, or you can have a track record and be known from a good name to do good. All right, keep reading. Whose heart went not a horn, mm -hmm. nor departed from the Lord, mm -hmm. 
Let their memory be blessed. You see that? Those that did not go a whoring, let their memory be blessed. Okay? Keep going. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. Let their bones flourish out of their place. Mm -hmm. And let the name of them that were honored be continued upon their children. You see that? It said, let the name of them that were honored be continued upon their children. That means your name will forever reign, ring, be known, heard of in the earth. Because your children are going to continue. Just like we talk about Moses, Aaron, okay? We, we talk about Paul, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke. We talk about the whole Bible and all the men in it and women, all right? Their name reigns great in the earth because what? Of their works. Whether it be good or evil, all right? But this class is on what? Building a good name, okay? Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.